What's up with it? What's up with it? Again, the episode keep it solid. Sports talk. Friends episode 39. I'll keep it on moving. I'm doing my thing. But anyways, uh, hold on before we get started. What's up with it? What's up with it, man? It was we in here today. Sports talk. All right, we're going to start off first. We'll talk about last week game against the Chargers. Eagles versus Chargers. You know, I didn't get to talk about it, but I'm still not convinced with my team. They still, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm still on the line, borderline with these niggas. I'm saying Jalen Hurts looking good, but defense, I don't like defensive coordinator. I feel like he gave up too many yards. But, you know, I could just be saying that shit. But I feel like, you know what I'm saying, he gives us way too many motherfucking yards, dog. You know what I'm saying? What's up with it, Kim Folk? Uh, what's up with it? What you got going on? But, yeah, man, I just feel like he got he gave up way too many motherfucking yards. Man, that defense, I don't know. It, it's still on the burn. I think we could beat the Cowboys on the second round. I don't know. I feel like we can. But just all in all. It's looking like we don't really need Miles Sanders because they're using the other running backs. But, I mean, you took all this not to use Miles Sanders. I feel like that was stupid. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, I wish we would have got Odell. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Odell – I feel like Odell was a, was was something good for, for the team. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it would have been good, you know what I'm saying, to help out them younger receivers and shit. But, you know, hey, it, you know, he went over there to the Los Angeles Rams. But I'm going to get into that later. But, you know, I just, for my team, you know, we play the Raiders this year, I mean, this week. So I just feel like, man, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, it's up and down. Because you see, you know, you know, today Miami lost. You know, Miami won today. My bad. Miami won today. You know what I'm saying? So even the lot, the sorry teams are beating the better teams. But I just feel like it's any given Sunday. We always knew that. Any team could beat any team. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like now is the time where you're going to see a lot of teams beating teams that you should. So now, you know, if you want to say that now, we're going to put that on with the Cowboys, dog. Like, you got to look at it now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you the Cowboys might go into this game with the Falcons, dog. And, you know, hey. I'm not saying that they might lose, but shit, hey, you never know. You just seen Miami beat Baltimore, dog. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it's going to be a toss-up. Like, you know, I clearly like Dallas, bro. Dallas is just in their own head, but like them trap games, bro. We all know as people, dog, them trap games is a motherfucker, dog. Like, whew, you know what I'm saying? When you used to get them trap games, like, you you know what I'm saying? We used to see it a lot. You know what I'm saying? I played some of my pro football, and we used to be in a lot of trap games, bro. And we'd be like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Why are we losing to these niggas? Because we playing down to them. Which Dallas, bro. I don't know. I just see, you know, y'all gonna lose a couple more games. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I ain't gonna knock it. You know, we we we'll, we ain't making the playoffs, but I think we can spoil some shit for Dallas. Eagles can spoil some shit for Dallas. A lot of people look at us and be like, oh man, we can't. We're gonna spoil some shit. We do it every year. We spoil shit for Dallas. Anytime we can, any way we can, we gonna spoil it for y'all. But like going back to Dallas, bro, and Dallas and Falcons, bro. I feel like you know what I'm saying. I I kind of see the cow. I see Dallas beating them. I don't know why, but. I just hey, this is me. I feel like Dallas can beat them, dog. I, I I mean, uh, Falcons can beat Dallas. You know what I'm saying? My bad. Falcons can beat Dallas. You know, my bad. I'm fucking up shit. But you know, hey, I feel like I feel like they can beat them niggas, man. No cap. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else? Where else for that? Oh yeah, well Odell, man. Um, Odell, I, I, that's a good look for him, bro. I just feel like he. He gonna be in the same role as you know what I'm saying, A B. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of that shit, what he's doing right now, he's gonna be in the same role A B. Because you know, A B did the same thing. He went to go play with two stars, you know what I'm saying? As far as Michael Mike Evans and motherfucking, you know, Godwin, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be the same role for, for uh Odell. I feel like he's gonna have to go in there, he's gonna be a slot receiver. You know, they're gonna use him in different situations, you know what I'm saying? I I it's a good look for him, man, just to See if he still got it, which I I know he still got it. Odell ain't washed up, dog. He just need he need a good quarterback, man. They, a lot of that shit was on Baker, bro. I just be one hundred with that shit. A lot of that shit was on Baker. That wasn't even on him. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I drink my beer. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, you know 
we gonna see. It, it's just a lot of different shit you see in, in the tail right now. Just a lot of different old shit. But I, I still have my bet. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if the Cowboys and Bills until somebody tell me wrong. You know what I'm saying? Right now, that's what it is in my prediction. But who knows? I just think Cowboys got to go. I think this loss was good for them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people can't even need that loss and keep going. Like in motherfucking Arizona. Shit, I don't know. They won without that goddamn starting quarterback, nigga. Colt McCoy brought that shit in for them. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I, I could say Arizona because, you know what I'm saying, ain't nobody really beating them. They got a good defense. They got a good offense. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know how far that can take them. You feel me? I don't know how far that can really get them. You know what I'm saying? I don't think – I don't know. I just think that Arizona be there. NFC, NFC, but then you got to think about, too, Aaron Rodgers, man. I, you just can't count him on with all the bullshit that he been in, too, you know what I'm saying, lying about COVID and shit. I don't know, you know what I'm saying, but I think they still going to be there, you know what I'm saying? You got to think about them. You got to think about the Rams. You know, the Rams got better. In regards to what everybody want to say, the Rams got better on offense and defense. So now you don't have to add a weapon on defense, add a weapon on offense. Shit, I, you know, Von Miller ain't the same Von Miller that he was, but I feel like he can he can produce, man. If you got Aaron Dodd on there, bro, they're going to double team him, so he's going to be one-on-one all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like that's going to be something, the bright part with the, the Rams. I could say the Rams going to be there, but you never know, man. Just we got to see. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, I, I feel like history do repeat itself, but, you know, at the same time, you know, hey, it is what it is. You know, I, I it's because history do repeat itself, bro. Everybody got to think about that. History do repeat itself. So we got to see how that's going to affect them. You know what I'm saying? If it does, if it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. You feel me? We're we going to see. Hold on. Oh, Waddle, what's up, man? God damn, what's up with it, Waddle? Oh, my God. Um. But, yeah, man, shit, a lot of that shit is just, you know, we got to see um, how different shit going to work out and, you know, you know what we going to do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, can I fuck if I can get you in? I'm going to get you in. But, yeah, I don't know. Let me get back to what I was saying. But, yeah, man, we, we got a lot of shit going on in the NFL right now, man, just – you know, I, I just – after seeing that game with Miami and them, I just feel like a lot of teams going to take a lot of losses that they don't want. You know what I'm saying? But it's just it's part of the game, bro. Niggas got to understand that shit. Uh, it's part of the game. So, what's up with it, Titus? But, yeah. So, man, but, I mean, how do y'all feel about that, man? How y'all feel about the Cowboys? You know, I got a lot of Cowboy fans in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn, this is what I do this shit. Talk y'all shit. I'm an Eagles fan. I'm going to talk my shit all day, every day. But I just be want to know how y'all really feel. You know what I'm saying? I don't don't get any feelings, but you know, express how you feel. Comment and let me know how y'all feeling. You know what I'm saying? Y'all feel like Dallas, you know what I'm saying, they're gonna keep rolling, or you feel like they're gonna just keep playing down to everybody's position, like everybody. Cause I just you gotta understand. Dan Quinn used to be that court, uh, they they damn coach, bro. And I feel like I feel like the Falcons gonna try to prove a point with that shit, bro. I don't I don't see them niggas coming in that bitch and laying down. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, Broncos took over y'all whole damn stadium, dog. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't see them sitting down and letting y'all niggas do whatever y'all want. You got to understand, they got a good offense, too. If they get rolling on offense, and like I told you about Kirk Cousins, it, it depends on what Matt Ryan shows up, just like with Kirk Cousins. It depends on what Kirk Cousins shows up, because if the Kirk Cousins shows up that he's a killer, you know what I'm saying, or Matt Ryan shows up that he a killer, that nigga going to destroy y'all, because really right now they expose our defense. You know, I like Diggs, bro. Diggs is, you know, he's good, but he just show he showed his flaws, bro. All you gotta do is double move, and that's what they're gonna do all the rest of the year. They finna put double moves on goddamn Diggs. I'm just gonna be 100, bro. They gonna that's what games they gonna start out in the games, bro, and they're gonna double move that nigga every fucking time because they they know. Dog, we can get this nigga. You know what I'm saying? We can get this nigga off the rip. You know what I'm saying? So he gonna bite on everything. That's why I said it's, it's good and it's bad. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand, like Revis really didn't get beat like that, bro. When he did make his decision to get the ball, bro, he gonna go in there and get it. That's why I say with with Diggs, bro, he, he he's still too young. He's still learning. He's still learning the game. You know what I'm saying? You gotta learn when to bite, when not to bite. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say with Diggs, bro, like he it, they exposed him. They exposed him, bro. I, I ain't going, you know, a nigga's going to be like, oh, no, he didn't, bro. They exposed the shit out that nigga, bro. You know what I'm saying? They knew. They took that. You can understand that they watched film last week and understand they did the same shit to that nigga because, bro, y'all had a third round. Y'all had a third, third, third receiver on the depth chart killing y'all, dog. 
Like, come on, fam. Let's be fronty. Y'all had the third receiver, nigga. Not no nigga star, not none of that. Judy didn't do nothing. Sutton didn't do nothing. You had the third receiver killing y'all. So, you know, they, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? I listen to Skin, uh, Shannon, and, uh, Skin, Shannon and Skip. I listen to them, bro, because, like he said, bro, like, as long as y'all, if y'all don't score no points, bro, and y'all offense ain't on, y'all, I don't, man, y'all defense ain't what it is, bro. I'm just going to be 100, bro. Y'all defense is not what it is. Fit my defense, you know, we can talk about mines, but but I can kind of put mines with, we do got pro bowler corners out there, you know what I'm saying, on both sides, you know what I'm saying? We got a pro bowler, you know what I'm saying, safety, you know, I can put more faith in my my defense than y'all's because y'all defense, bro, uh, suspect, nigga. Y'all got a Terrence Newman with Anthony Brown. That nigga is another Terrence Newman, nigga. He, bro, he up and down, bro. If they go at his ass, he he gonna he gonna give up touchdowns, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like you know M Michael Parsons can only do so much, dog. You know what I'm saying? And and what he doing? He doing his job, but like everybody, like I say, bro. Everybody know, like, bro. They really did expose y'all. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be like, oh man, it was just an off game. Nah, nigga, they came in and they they came with a game plan, nigga, and they game plan worked. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta stop looking at it. You know what I'm saying? As far as oh man, this and that, bro. When teams come in, bro, they gonna bro, they gonna come in with a game plan, bro. They already know it, and they really the Broncos gave y'all gave everybody a game plan to kind of beat the Cowboys because if you can stop them niggas on offense, bro, and score. You gonna beat the Cowboys, bro, because their defense can't stop nobody. Just be one hundred, bro. You know my defense can't stop shit, but that nigga be giving up shit, bro. He play off too much, bro. Even back then, bro, we was playing man, nigga. We wasn't getting beat that much, but goddamn, this nigga going crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that bullshit ass defense that nigga be in. You know what I'm saying? That that's some bullshit ass goddamn defense. You know, uh, but you know, it, it is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? I I still see the top teams still being there, bro. You know what I'm saying? KC, they're gonna they gonna they gonna get it back, bro. They're gonna make it to the playoffs. I, I can see that too. But you gotta understand Oakland probably gonna be there too. I don't know about Denver. You see if Denver can come over this hump and they can kind of keep going. Then you gotta understand with that too. So, you know, Kansas City got a hard task in their hand really coming soon. You know, a lot of teams do, you know. Um another team that is surprising me right now that you know what I'm saying. I you know, I always say this shit too. Um the New England Patriots, bro, they 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 doing their thing too, man. Like real shit, they they doing their motherfucking thing. You know, what I'm saying the defense is coming alive. Matt Jones, you know, what I'm saying he doing his thing. But you know, I'm gonna ask a question. You know, what I'm saying everybody, you know, it's I know it's a cushion that's buzzing and shit. Do y'all feel like he was wrong? Do you feel like that was a dirty play by Matt Jones? I don't. You know what I'm saying? Because, well, if he did twist the nigga ankle, then yeah, but I feel like that nigga twist his own goddamn ankle. You know what I'm saying? If I feel like a nigga grabbing me, I'm gonna just fall to the ground. You know what I'm saying? But we all do that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, if you can't, you know, if he's trying to get the ball, you're going to try to grab that nigga leg, but I don't know. I, I just feel like, you know, if people you out there, bro, let me know if y'all feel like that was a dirty-ass play. I don't. And then there's another play with the dude doing the, uh, what he do? He did a kick, and then the referee bumped into the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I feel like, you know, the referee should get fined for that shit. Because you see it blatantly on the screen, the dude was trying to avoid that nigga, and that nigga ran into that nigga. So, you know, hey, you got to, man, look. <laughs> we gotta start opening our eyes, you know. This this not taunting this shit, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, y'all taking too much fun out the motherfucking game, dog. Like, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, man, look, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Give that with the game, bro. Like taunting and all that shit. Like, dude, that's what we do, bro. Like, you taking it to where now we gotta get about, you know what I'm saying? As soon as we make a play, bro, we gotta kind of keep to ourselves to, you know, be celebrating. Like, why? If I made a big ass play, I want to celebrate. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. We got to do, you know what I'm saying? They're making this game way too soft. You know, it's already rigged. You know what I'm saying? At the at the beginning of that shit. But, I mean, y'all taking too much fun out this game, bro. And I, I hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? I hate that shit for a lot. You know what I'm saying? What's up with it, Will? Um, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, man. Oh, man. We we going to see, bro. We, we going to really see what what's going to happen in the next, what? Hmm. This next week, and I think this week gonna be crazy. No cap, nigga. I feel like a lot of teams finna get beat by teams that they shouldn't get beat by, but it's just to make it make it interesting. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, my team lost to this team type shit. You know what I'm saying? They gotta keep it interesting. But let's see. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. What's up with it, my boy? Um, let's see how that shit go. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, hey. We, it's, just, it's just right now, I don't know. They say we the worst division in the league, bro, but, man, you got to think about it, too, because a lot of teams, a lot of, uh, you know, Washington doing their thing. They starting to win. Uh, Giants defense coming alive now. 
So shit, you gotta think about it. You know, everybody's like, oh, we got this shit in the bag, but you don't understand, bro, the division, bro. We gonna wanna beat y'all niggas. What's up with it, Solomon? Uh we gonna wanna beat y'all niggas off the rip. You feel me? So us as Eagle fan, you know, I'm an Eagle fan. You know, a lot of people that know you. If you Cowboy fans, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I just say it like that. But y'all come in and join in. You know what I'm saying? We talk about everything, bro. We just realists, bro. I don't, I, don't, I don't like, I don't need your feelings. I don't need none of that shit. If you don't know nothing about football, don't speak on it. You feel me? But let's get back to what I was saying about the NFC at least. That's what they call us. But, you know, I just feel like now it's going to be a toss up. Dallas ain't going to run through that bitch. I don't feel like they're going to run through that bitch undefeated, bro. There's no way. There's no way if you and you know if anybody feel like there's some way we can we can make a bet about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is good to lose now. That's why I said will too, man. It's good to lose for Cowboys to lose now, but how how did that really fuck with the psyche? Because Dak played the worst game that he ever played in his life. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to think about it. You know, I feel like it's a lot with that cab too. I feel like he won 100. I should have let Cooper Rush start. That's just what it is. I felt like y'all should have let Cooper Rush start. You know what I'm saying? Because I just felt like Dak wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. The bullshit ass throat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He was. You know what I'm saying? He was so bad. But it's just, but don't hold it against him, bro. He's a good quarterback. I feel like he's going to get that shit back together and shit. But it, you got to understand. Hey, man, Solomon, I ain't going to be 100. Solomon, don't say that shit, dog. Because, hey, man. Atlanta could beat them. Atlanta could beat the Cowboys, man. Hey, Denver did it. You know what I'm saying, bro? Y'all can't, you don't say, don't say that shit because, bro, you might come up with some surprise and nigga and your team might beat, might beat them niggas, bro. No cap. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go with no bets or nothing like that, but I'm just going to be 100. I just feel like they finna come in that hoe and prove a point. Like, we going to beat our old coach, nigga. Like, you got to understand with that too, nigga. That's they old motherfucking coach, nigga. They going to try to make a name for themselves. Uh, Pitts is playing good right now. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel you. Will. I mean, yeah, Will. I just, I got to keep it real, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, bro, you remember how we used to play, bro? It's always up and down, dog. You know, every time we used to play the Bullets, niggas just, you know what I'm saying? I just like, we could have beat the Bullets many of the times, nigga. You know what I'm saying? The semi-pro, but niggas just mind wasn't. You know, when they got to the game, it was just like niggas mind was on some other shit. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. Oh, my bad. I read that wrong, Sally. My bad. But, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, y'all, I feel like y'all can, fam. My bad. I read that wrong. But, yeah, bro, I feel like y'all can. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can beat them niggas, bro. It's it's no cap. Rise up. Real shit. They got to. And I feel like, bro, <laughs> Denver took over the goddamn Cowboy Stadium. Shit, Atlanta right there. Nigga, you don't think Atlanta going to come through this hole? They, gonna, they seen that shit. Them, them Atlanta boys seen that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, right, hey, Will, we gonna see, fam. I, this is what my channel for, bro. We just gonna hear the talk, bro. Cowboy fan, I'm an Eagle fan, so you know, hey, <laughs> I just, but I like to talk to Cowboy fans, like real Cowboy fans, like not niggas that's in their feelings and don't really know the game of football, dog. <laughs> real shit, bro. It just, hey, man. But no, for real though. I just feel like, bro, this our division, bro, is gonna be crazy, fam. Like niggas don't be understanding that shit. Like our division could be so crazy, dog. And and, and, and niggas don't be gonna we got killed. <laughs> you so right, nigga. Them niggas took over. That's why I was like, how did that even happen, bro? That, Will, how did that even fucking happen? That nigga Denver took over y'all shit, bro. Them niggas started chanting Broncos and y'all shit, bro. Like, yeah, this is a game where Dallas got to redeem themselves, bro. They got to come out. I'm talking about all cylinders, bro. So what's up with Zeke? I, that's another question I got to ask. What's up with Zeke? Because that nigga tiptoeing. I don't give a fuck what a nigga's telling me, bro. Like, that nigga really look like he running in sand, dog. And you could tell me, oh, no, he, look, look at his yards, bro. Man, anybody worry about this shit. Pollard right behind his ass. So it's just like, what is it? Like, it is, is Zeke? Because I think Zeke hurt. Tell you the truth, I think Pollard Pollard finna start. You know, they ain't said nothing about Zeke, but I feel like Pollard finna start this year. And the only reason, yeah, he do play, but he won't. Yeah, that, that's another thing. But hey, the only reason that he don't want to come off the field because he injured, bro, is because he don't want to leave lose his spot to Pollard because he know for a fact if he sits his ass down for a couple of games and Pollard come in there and shine, hey, that nigga might be on. Hey, you know, Jerry give a nigga ass up. Shit, you see what he did? He had he owed Jalen Jalen Smith. Nine million dollars. He let his bitch ass go. 
nigga, hey, you better get your shit together, dog. You better get your shit the motherfucking together, nigga. Um, so who y'all think gonna be MVP this year, man? Now I, I kind of see it's it's really going into the ways of Kyler. I think Kyler gonna get it if Kyler keep on playing like he playing. But we are gonna see, you know what I'm saying? I'm really gonna see. That's why it's interesting, you know what I'm saying? I I see him. My nigga said me. <laughs> hey yo, hey man, Paula coding bitch dog. I'm sorry, yeah. When I got that nigga, I was like, bro, that nigga. I seen that nigga in college, bro. That nigga was, he was a receiver in college. That nigga used to kill shit. But nah, man, I, I feel like gonna be Kyler. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, if that come back playing like he was, bro, that could be in the, in the question. But I just, man, look. It's finna get cold, dog. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and man, y'all got a road trip ahead of y'all. Y'all got a couple of home games, and then y'all got a road trip. How you think y'all going to – so, my people there, how, what do you think Dallas' final record going to be? Mine, we ain't going to probably win over seven games. Um, I just don't see uh, Eagles winning over seven games. I just don't see it this year. Maybe next year when we come back and see how everything works and how everything, you know what I'm saying, does. Maybe. But right now, fuck no. I don't see it. Man, look, I don't see that shit. I don't. I don't got to fire my gas, you know what I'm saying? Nah, man. What's another team that's surprising y'all not right now? You know what I'm saying? In this league right now. Because <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Miami surprised the fuck out of me. You said, let's get digs up, bro. Hey, man. Say, bro, he ain't his brother, dog. That nigga might be, you know what I'm saying? I know he a, 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 a receiver turn cornerback. That nigga ain't his brother, dog. Diggs is, man, look. <laughs> look. But you got Gallup, bro. Gallup coming back. You know what I'm saying, y'all? What you what, what you mean? You got Gallup. You got three good receivers. You got Gallup, but Gallup leaving y'all ass. I'm gonna tell you right now, Gallup is leaving y'all. He finna go get a number one spot somewhere. No cap. He finna go be a franchise receiver somewhere, and I and you know where he gonna probably be? Where I see he going? New England. I see him going to New England. So I don't really see that nigga going nowhere. I see him going to New England, and and getting that number one spot. And I really kind of see because y'all I mean y'all say CD gonna take number one, but like CD, I mean I know you hope that he don't go there, fam. But I I see him going there. I see him going to New England. I don't see him going nowhere else. I see him going to New England. But I mean you gotta sign him. You gotta you gotta think about all this shit. Y'all gotta sign. You gotta you gotta resign some players because you got a lot of you got a couple people out of free agency. You gotta see if you gonna keep them. You ain't gonna be able to keep Gallup, Cooper, and Lamb. You're not gonna be able to do that. I'm just being 100. That that's that's not gonna happen. Coop gonna stay, Lamb gonna stay, but Gallup is gone. Oh, that's another place. Hey, hey, t- hey, Will. <laughs> that is another fucking place. I I could, hey, the the Chiefs because the Chiefs do need a number two. They need a you know say besides being Kelsey, they need another number two. Once they get that number number two, <clears throat> they great. You know what I'm saying? I swear, like they great. We gonna see, man. I just, man, look. I've been watching. I've been watching a lot of football, man. You know, I even watching college. You know what I'm saying? That's why. So we gonna we gonna spin on college too. You know what I'm saying? Um, college is is getting crazy, ain't it? You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, college is getting motherfucking crazy. Queef, what's up, man? College is getting motherfucking crazy, dog. You know what I'm saying? Um. Alabama gonna still be there. Um, I think out of Big Twelve, I think I think he said past that hoe, bro. <laughs> oh shit! But no, nah, man. Uh, Oklahoma gonna come out the Big Twelve. Shit, the Big Ten, bro. That shit looking hard right now, bro. The Big Ten. I mean, I know my boy out here, Khalid. He gonna he gonna say Ohio State coming out that bitch. But man, do you not see all these teams right now in the Big Ten doing their thing right now? You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I got to, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, they're going to count me out, fam. I got to keep this shit going. I already know, bro. See, my bro already starting Ohio State. Hey, man, hey, 
I see y'all coming out that hole, but man, you got Michigan State, you got Michigan. Them niggas playing good. We're gonna see because I I think the big the Big Ten right now is a toss up right now. You know, I'm an LSU fan, bro, but we ain't doing good right now. We waiting for Ogeron to leave and figure out what coach we're gonna get next. You know what I'm saying? That's our next move. SEC, you already told you, Alabama gonna be out there, bitch. But you know, it, it's still a toss up there. There's a lot of good teams in the SEC still. Um, how do y'all think that Texas and Oklahoma gonna do when they come to the SEC? Yeah, I already know. I already know. One game at a time, fam. Always one game at a time. But I, I see, I, man. I just, man, I, I like Ohio State. How them niggas be breeding all these ball players, man. They good as hell. Nah, I feel you, bro. I mean, you should, bro. When you had time, bro, man, watch the college game, bro. Cause, hey, man, it be exciting, bro. Some of them games be good, bro. And they come down to the wire. You actually see some good ass players, man. For real. Um, let's see where where I'm at now. Pack Pack Twelve. All right, now the Pack Twelve. Oregon doing their shit, ain't they? I think is Oregon back. Is Oregon motherfucking back, dog? I gotta I gotta really know, man. Is Oregon back? Cause they playing. They a hey, they playing good as. Hell, you know what I'm saying? I want to know. If, I, I think they're back. Honestly, I think they're back. I don't. I always got nice ass jerseys, man. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Oregon's probably gonna take that. You know what I'm saying? Where are we going? We got Big Twelve. We got Pac Twelve. We got Big Ten. What am I missing? ACC. My bad. My bad. We missing ACC. Um, I really ain't really been keeping up with the ACC, but I've been seeing what is it Vanderbilt doing their thing right now? Not Vanderbilt. Uh, uh, uh. What's that team in the ACC right now that's undefeated, bro? I can't think of their damn name right now. God damn. Hold on, hold on. I'm, don't, don't, don't get far. I'm trying to think. Cause I think they just lost this weekend, didn't they? They lost last weekend, but um, ACC is always a toss up, so we all never know who's gonna come out there. Um. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Wake Forest. Thank you, my guy. Thank you, my guy. Yeah, I, I, it was right here, bro. It was right in the mind. I'm like, man, I know who I'm talking about. Wake Forest, man. Hey, man, that's surprising, bro. But they were good. They were good last year. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, and they have mostly all they starters on defense back on Wake Forest. And they do, man, they do a lot of, they do a lot of substitution, bro. So it's a lot of fresh play. Bro, they play a lot different down there at Wake Forest, dog. You know what I'm saying? I watched a couple games with them, bro, like, Bro, they defense, bro. They have niggas coming in and out on their defense, dog. Hey, might have to look out for Wake Forest, man. They coming out the ACC. Um, what else we gonna jump on to, man? Like, what else y'all see out there in the world that I want to talk to you talk about, nigga? Is sports, nigga. You know, we talking sports right now. Um, what's up with the Lakers, dog? Like, <laughs> what's up with the motherfucking Lakers, dog? All right, bro. Take it easy, fam. But yeah, man. Hey, what y'all think about these damn Lakers, dog? Like, I, I, do you think it's a good decision to get Russell Westbrook? Come on, man. I, I don't know, man. I, I mean, I like how he played. Russell, Russell, a ball player, bro. But I don't think he meshed with that team, bro. Like, really, truly, and I, and I don't think there's nothing wrong with LeBron. I think LeBron just resting just to be resting because he old nigga. And he just trying to come in the halfway. Hey, just being one hundred with y'all, bro. I. You know, I'm a LeBron fan. I'm going to tell you, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like that nigga, he just chilling right now. He's trying to see what's going to go on without with, when he's not in. You know what I'm saying? But all the people that came back in, we're going we gonna to relapse on about, you know, everything that's going in on here. You know what I'm saying? Um, You know, I said, like I said, you know, we talked about the Cowboys, talked about the Eagles. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, what else is in the news right now, man? That's going crazy. Damon Lillard, do y'all think that Damon Lillard's gonna stay where he at? You know what I'm saying? Do y'all kind of feel like that? I, I, me, I don't. I, I feel like you know a lot of teams they'd be like, oh man, well, you know he's gonna stay with the team that he's been with all this damn time and shit. I mean, I don't see him doing that. You feel me? I feel like he, he might, but I, don't, I don't really see it. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? I try. You know what I'm saying? Like. After a while, Curry back. <laughs> Let's say that, man. Curry, Curry is back. So you know, hey, man, it's a lot of different things. You know, I like to revert. Um, oh yeah, because I want to talk about this. You know, because you know a lot of people don't. You know, with the Henry Rugg shit. You know, I didn't get to really speak my mind on that. <sighs> the Henry Ruggs, You know what I'm saying? I I just think you know, hey, man, he's a young kid, bro, and you know, he he did something dumb. To crucify the nigga, 
hell no. Nah, don't crucify the nigga, bro. Like, yeah, he did something dumb. He got drunk. He's driving 150 miles an hour in his car. Um, I don't think hold that against him. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, we done did some dumb ass shit that, you know what I'm saying? Shit. You know what I'm saying? Hard that we really have to think about. You know what I'm saying? We had to go sit down and think about it. But, you know, I don't think that really in his career, you know what I'm saying? I feel like let him, you know, if he do get time or whatever, let him let him learn from his lessons and bring him back, bro. That nigga too damn talented for him to sit out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know he did something bad, bro. You know, hey, bro, I'm not condoning nothing that he did, but I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't we don't look at it, you know what I'm saying? If it's the black person, we're going to crucify him. But y'all ain't talking about nothing about, you know, Bruce, what he did. You know what I'm saying? We ain't saying nothing about that, but, you know, I'm going to keep that where it is. Um, I don't know. It, I think it's a dark cloud. Over fucking Oakland. I mean, not Oakland. Las Vegas, bro. There's a dark motherfucking cloud over that motherfucker. Because it's just too much. You got the coach. You got Henry. And then you got the, the cornerback. You know what I'm saying, bro? Come on, bro. I know I know you want to be thugged and thugged out. You know what I'm saying? You should have thought about that before you ended the NFL, bro. Yeah, I understand. You got people hating on you. Hey, man, you can't be too much gangster when you when you're in the NFL, bro. You got you to, gotta, hey, man, I know you gangster. But, hey, man, you can't do that shit. Put that bitch on, on live. You can't put that bitch on something that people could take and and you know what I'm saying technology's different now, bro. You can't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you you can't do that and expect somebody to be like, uh, just slap that nigga on the wrist type shit. Like, nah, bro, that shit not how this shit work, my nigga. Like, you can't you can't do that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you should have just gone, you know, they said what they said, let them niggas say what they say, bro. Now you done lost millions of dollars doing what the fuck you did, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you can't do that, fam. You can't do that, man. I ain't going to, you know, I'm not going to, you know, <laughs> applaud that nigga. But, you know, it. you can't do that, bro. And I always said that, you know what I'm saying? Um, What else we got? Deshaun, you know what I'm saying? Deshaun, one of my favorite receivers, bro. You know what I'm saying? When I was playing, playing football, you know what I'm saying? I looked up to Deshaun, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that he got another home that he can go to. He's still in California, you know what I'm saying, where he grew up. I mean, he's in Las Vegas. God damn it. He's in Las Vegas, but you know what I'm saying? He got, you know, people still still fuck with him because he's still a good-ass player. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that, you know, he's washed up. You know what I'm saying? I still I think he got some more to go. Um, but, you know, I got I had to save my last, say the, the, the best for last. Cam, I, hey, man, I, bro, bro, I'm, I'm so happy for Cam, dog, because it's just like, damn, this nigga did make a mistake. I'm so happy for fucking Cam Newton, bro. He's back. And, bro, this offense that he got now, people don't understand. People are like, oh, man, Cam might be washed up. Bro, do you just see the offense Cam got right now? Cam never had this shit when, even when he went to the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? This nigga got two stud-ass receivers, bro, a good-ass running back, dog. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? My boy my boy from goddamn LSU, Marshall, he doing his goddamn thing. He finally come up as number three receiver. But you got you got you got Ronnie Anderson. You got my nigga D Moore, nigga. Like, hey, Cam, hey man, your defense is live too, bro. Hey, bro, hey, Paul, say fam. Hey, I said it. Niggas don't understand, cause bro, I you know you know I went on Madden, bro, and I looked they rostered my nigga. Do you see their cornerbacks, nigga? Yeah, bro, hey man, I hey I'm football. I gotta know my shit. You gotta look at all this shit, bro. Appreciate you, fam. But no, but for real though, you gotta look at they, bro. You, I look at their roster, bro, on defense, bro. They cornerbacks are set, bro. They got a fucking secondary, dog. But if they put that shit together, bro, Cam is back. You know, people people might hate that shit, but Cam is motherfucking back, dog. I'm so happy for that nigga, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because all the shit that, you know, he been through, you know, he had to go through all the bullshit to even come back home now. Now he get to show, hey, man, I got more talent than I ever had. You know what I'm saying? I got a good coach, my nigga. Like, bro. <laughs> like, people don't understand, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a Cam Newton fan, bro. I always like Cam, even especially when, especially that time when he came back at Auburn on Alabama, dog. Like, that really, like, put me as a fan of Cam Newton. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just like, that nigga just, bro. He brought the whole team, put the whole team on his shoulders, bro, and brought them niggas back, bro. He had no name receivers. Any of most of the receivers, both of the receivers that was in the game that caught touchdowns from that nigga is not even in the league. I just posted about this, bro. Hey, 
Say, Paul, I would say, I, hey, PJ, I was feeling the same goddamn way, dog. Like, because I was just looking at that shit like, bro, these niggas got a team, fam. And everybody's not really looking at that. Everybody's talking about everybody else out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? But these niggas right here, bro, y'all need to look at these niggas on. I know it's, it's just on paper, nigga, but come on. You might need to get, hey, a lot of people might need to start counting on Cam Newton. It's still half of the year. You got to understand it's half the year. We half the motherfucking year. We're not nowhere near close to the end, bro. So right now, a lot of things can change, and they're looking good right now. Don't get me wrong. They what, five and four? Yes. So, nigga, come on now. They can easily, they can easily go, you know what I'm saying, on a winning streak, nigga, and get them in the playoffs, bro. That's why I said he might be scared to play them in the playoffs, bro. I'm saying this. I'm PJ. Remember, I said this, bro. We're gonna talk about this. Remember, I said this. Panthers might be going far in the playoffs, bro. I just gotta see how they how they mesh. Let me see how they act for these while they while they're in the regular season. But after that, bro, we're gonna see. I just say, hey man, watch out for the motherfucking Panthers, dog. I'm saying this. Look, hey, I said before. Before I said anything, I said I said Cowboys and Bills because I feel like time is going to repeat itself, so Cowboys and Bills. But, you know, you still got a lot of teams because, you know, the Rams, hey, the Rams is loaded. I don't give a fuck. Everybody might be like, oh, he's not going to be able to mess. Yeah, he is. Look at A.B. A.B. came in the same situation that OD, ODB is coming, OD, ODBJ is going into. So, hey, think about it. Look at A.B. A.B. had to – hey, A.B. had to – Start behind Mike Evans and, and Chris Godwin, and he did his motherfucking thing. So now you have you have Odell going into where he's behind Robert Woods and my nigga Cooper Cup. But shit, bro, that's still good. You know what I'm saying, bro? He gonna come off the bench. He gonna do his motherfucking thing, bro. Like, hey, Odell too. I'm proud of you too, bro. Like, I just want you to. I just want you to show the world, bro, that you are still legit receiver, dog. That's what I want you to do for me. Show the world that you still legit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Because they they counting you out, fam. Just like they count Cam out. That's why I say these two players. I feel like they finna make some noise the next couple of weeks. So you need to watch out for my nigga Cam, because bro, a lot of people ain't even think about it. Everybody's like, oh well, he just signed back. Cause you see all the posters and shit. You know what I'm saying? I, you see all the posters and shit, but it's just like nigga. You see the posters, but it's just like bro, ain't nobody really thinking about what the fuck Cam is putting himself into. That nigga got an offense. Sam Darden couldn't run that goddamn offense, bro. Who the fuck is Sam Darden? Like, that nigga's ass. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, you bring Cam that actually can do some shit, bro. In New England, he ain't had no weapons like this, bro. Let's let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't had no weapons like this. Why I'm so proud, bro. He only thirty two, dog. You know what I'm saying? He's still doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? So, watch out for Cam Newton. ODB, hey, I'm, this is coming from me, bro. Just do your thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got Stephon Gilmore over there? Come on, bro. Yeah, they already AJ Bouye. They had uh, was it CJ Henderson, bro? He was a he was a first round draft pick last year. He over there, like, bro. They you know Chan, he was killing last year at safety, bro. You know what I'm saying? His rookie year, he was killing. So I'm just like, bro, Brian Burns. You know what I'm saying? That nigga's a a, a beast. You know what I'm saying? But, okay, like I said, you know what I'm saying? It, it, we going to see, bro. It, it just now is getting exciting. Like, a lot of people don't understand how exciting football is going to get now because Cam is back. Can Cam come back and, and can spoil some shit? I think he can. I think Cam can come back and spoil some shit, dog. Because a lot of people ain't even putting their bread on that or not even looking at that shit. Like, bro, oh, yeah, Cam just signed back. That's how people, that's how you see these posters. Oh, yeah, Cam just signed back. Bro, what the fuck that mean, bro? Y'all ain't happy, bro. Look at y'all didn't see this nigga roster. Y'all just thinking, oh man, it's just Cam. Nah, bro, he got the best team that he ever had, even at Carolina. See, but he had Steve Smith, bro. So that nigga just hands down one of the best receivers. One out, one of the shortest receivers I like. You know what I'm saying? But um, I don't know, man. Just it's a, it's a lot of shit. That's why I say you think about that. Brady's going to get back both of his defensive defensive backs. So the the Tampa Bay finna be tough, nigga. A lot of people are like, oh man, they sorry right now, but both of their cornerbacks are scheduled to come back soon. So they can get them down the stretch. So you still got Tampa Bay in the mix. You still got Arizona in the mix. But I just I like Arizona offense, man. Hey, D Hop is one of the best receivers in the league, bro. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. You can say whatever. You know, DA, he right behind him, nigga. But 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 just that nigga right there, bro, is just like, bro, you throw it anywhere near that nigga, he gonna catch it, bro. It don't matter. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? And that was a dumbass penalty they did when he did that face mask. But, hey, 
I always say D Hop has always been one of the best receivers in the league. You know what I'm saying? Um, other with them, bro, their defense is stacked. So it just man, that now you get me thinking. Now the tools is turning. Everything is turning now. You know what I'm saying? Why you? You know what I'm saying? Why you see it? Because it's just like fuck. Now, hey, it's gonna get real. You got you got L.A. You got Tampa Bay. You got Cowboys. We'll put them in there. Cowboys. Uh, you got. You got the Panthers, you got the Packers. You know what I'm saying? You got the Saints. I don't know how that's gonna happen. I don't think they're gonna win no game with Trans Trevor Simeon. I don't see that. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I said, see, you see what I'm saying, PJ, bro. There's so many raw if you look at it, there's so many raw teams in the league right now. So it's just like, bro, how the fuck? How do you know what I'm saying? Like, how is this going to turn out? That's how that's how I'm thinking about it. How is it going to turn out? Because everybody can be like, oh, this and that. Dallas, I just be 100, bro. And I'm, I'm just going to say this. Dallas, you don't have enough power, firepower to fuck with these teams. These teams have good offense and defense. Y'all only got good offense. The defense is not good. You got a couple key players. Michael Parsons is your defense. Trayvon Diggs, that nigga is going to get double moved for the rest of the year. I'm going to tell you all that now. They're finna double move that nigga all the rest of the fucking year. And he's gonna bite every fucking time and get faded the fuck up. Just being 100. But now you got the Cardinals. The Cardinals are tough, dog. You know what I'm saying? Because they got offensive defense. You know what I'm saying? Rams, offensive defense. God damn. The Packers, they got a good offense. Their defense is, is middle of the class. We can we, say middle of the pack. We ain't gonna just say them niggas just outstanding. But you got to think about that's what Dallas has to bring themselves through. You got to go through teams like that that got good offense and defense. You don't score enough points, you can't you can't ride this ride. <laughs> Real shit, you know what I'm saying? You can't ride this ride. You know what I'm saying? Like PJ, I'm telling you, hey fam, why? Cause we gonna come back to say this? Cause I need, I want you. I'm gonna make sure I tag you in this, bro. If these niggas go the fuck off, the Panthers go off. I'm tagging you and I'm be like, hey bro, I told you. And I remember you said the same thing, bro. But these niggas looking good. You so right. You say I know I'm not really on Dig's ass, but it's just bro, it's it's common sense, bro. Like a lot of niggas don't understand that shit, bro. Bro, they already seen this on film. And how do you, how do you get it scored on them touchdown? They double move that nigga and he bit. Come on. Both of the touchdowns, long ass touchdowns he got, he bit. That's why I say, don't get me wrong, the nigga's a good ass player, bro. He came from Alabama, so you are stud off the rip. But nigga, he has to get out of that because Dion didn't bite like that, dog. Dion knew how to read, nigga. Like Dion how to play with them niggas because Dion gonna bite bait your ass in. See, you gotta do that with these with the, the uh quarterbacks. You gotta bait them niggas in. They already know what's going on. And if the road is not getting easier for you, nigga. Just being 100. The road's not getting easier for you because when you play D hop, nigga, I don't see nothing good happening with that <laughs> with you because <laughs> they're going to de- they gonna double move you all day and they don't even give a fuck if you is guarding that nigga. They're going to still throw him the ball. <laughs> I just, the Cowboys are overrated. Um, The Cowboys are overrated, but let's, let's, because they, they always try to crucify. That's why I be trying to get these Cowboys fans. They don't want to talk about real shit, nigga, when I ask to get talking. You know, I'm an Eagles fan, bro, but you know what I'm saying? we I know where we at, nigga. I understand that shit, but, you know, hey, I got to be – I'm an I'm a Eagles fan, so I got to hate you, niggas. It's just what it is. Like, I'll give you your kudos when y'all winning. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like them wins, when they wasn't they wouldn't shit. The wins wasn't shit. And I don't feel like they going to win no more. Atlanta finna beat them, niggas, just being 100. I just feel like them niggas finna come in the same old bullshit they came before, and they gonna get beat. Simple as that. I'm not. I'm not gonna say that they're they're not like bro. They, <laughs> I don't see the Cowboys doing because Zeke Zeke is hurt. He might not. He might not act like it, but Zeke is hurt. He was hurt last game, and they were saying it was a knee contusion. So uh, hey, Tony Pollard finna take that nigga spot. Uh, Let's say that. You know what I'm saying? That's why he don't want to come out. That's why he didn't want to come out the game because he know if Tony get them touches, bro, he shows out, bro. Now my job is on the fucking line. Real shit. That nigga job on the line. I don't. <laughs> I'll take Tony Pollard. I got Miles Sanders, though. You know what I'm saying? But I'll take Tony Pollard over Zeke. I feel like Zeke Zeke was just that hype when he first came in the league and shit. And then all of a sudden now he, he, he fell off. He fell off. Uh, you know, I, I, everybody sees it. I, I can't, you know, it's nothing that I can, I'm not, I'm talking about. 
bro, hey, <laughs> Tony Bo yes, he is a better running back. He runs harder, bro. He reads better, nigga. Like, if you've been looking at the last couple, the last couple games I've seen, fam, man, bro, <laughs> hell no. I'd rather take Tony. Hey, man, Tony, get hey, – so, but see, when Tony would have did that, that kickoff return, they got to put that nigga in the backfield. Hey, bro, you, you finna run the ball. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Zeke is getting too comfortable. He's too comfortable, dog. He getting challenged, but the only way he's going to get challenged, he has to sit down. And when he see that nigga go off, he's going to be like, damn. I feel like uh, Dallas offense would be a lot better with Tony Pollard. I'm not no Cowboys fan, but I'm just saying. That nigga got to understand the game. See, that's why I talked about this show because my show is nothing about we don't get in the feelings, bro. We talk about the real. If you're a real football player, basketball player, you're going to speak the real. <laughs> like, I'm going to get with you, PJ, because <clears throat> I don't know too much about basketball. I ain't a basketball fan, you know what I'm saying, basketball player. But, nigga, yeah, I'm going to get with you because I know if I could talk to you about basketball all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? But uh, back to football, you know what I'm saying? Um, Just with them, bro, I just – I'm just I'm on the fence, bro. I'm on the fence with with the Cowboys. Like I wouldn't even I wouldn't even impress with the wins they did on us. Like on uh, when they beat us, bro. I just feel like we didn't come to play. But the rest of these wins that they got, bro, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced, bro. I feel like Dak was just he was he was on a high horse when he was doing all that shit, and now it's kind of like he's hit he hit reality. Like damn, I can't really do this because I it looked like that damn that damn leg was bothering. Because when he when he ran when he scrambled out, that nigga was gimpy, nigga. That nigga was gimpy. I watch, hey man, I watch everything, bro. I watch every game. You know what I'm saying? Regardless if it's the Eagles, Cowboys, uh, New England, whoever. But I just like to watch games and see what I'm what I'm working with. Oh shit! Well, then we can get to talking about football there. I didn't see, but PJ got to stand, bro. When you went to school, bro, I know you play football too, bro. But it was just like I just remind, I I know you from basketball, dog. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that you wasn't go to football, just nigga. I just me personally, but hey, nigga, hey, I just that's what I be wanting. Like, bro, this is what my shows is for, bro. When y'all want to come talk about sports, this is what I do, nigga. I come talk about this, the real though. Let's talk about the real, dog. Like, like. Fuck all the, the getting in your feelings about shit. Like, bro, let's talk about, okay, look at that nigga. That nigga ain't really playing hard, nigga. Let's point out the extra shit that we see, nigga, that we know as football players. Like, like I said, with the with the shit with, with Mac Jones, bro, with the shit with Mac Jones, bro, I don't feel like it's a dirty play, but I don't know if he twisted his ankle. I don't, you know what I'm saying? You, it, it look, it's just how it all moves and everything. You can't really tell if he twisted or whatever. But nigga, I would have did that shit too. If I would have fumbled the ball too, I would have grabbed that nigga leg or fell on that nigga. Hey, bro, you ain't getting this damn ball, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But it could be dirty. You know what I'm saying? I, You know, people, it's, it's so many other shit. You know what I'm saying? It, it, the game is all changed. You know what I'm saying? I just, I hate it right now. Because you can't really do nothing. You can't celebrate. You can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? It just they it's like you might as well play flag football. But back to you know back back to the ranch. Um, let's see, let's see what else we got. We had I had some other shit about the NFL. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, what was it? How do you feel about that nigga? That nigga that pulled that that uh that cornerback for Oak uh not Oakland damn Las Vegas I be saying Oakland Las Vegas how you feel about that nigga I, I feel like that nigga that nigga is really stupid you know what I'm saying that that nigga was really stupid you you on social media with a with a gun nigga you a whole NFL player dog you know what I'm saying you can't do no shit like that dog you can't that's why I just, just like, bro, you can't do that shit, bro. If you want to be a gangster, bro, go to the streets, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They got room for you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You can't, bro, if you can't live like that. I understand you probably somebody said something to you, threatened you, nigga. Just, you got to leave that where it is and keep it in the streets, dog. You can't do it like that, bro. Now you done lost out of millions of fucking dollars, dog. Millions. Playing online, nigga. <laughs> Playing on motherfucking line. But yeah, man. Shit's crazy, man. Shit is fucking crazy out here, dog. That's what I, but like I said, it's finna be. Oh yeah, they they yeah. It's you gotta look that up, bro. Go look that up about the cornerback. Uh, I can't think of his name. I can't see how his name is, but yeah, it's a cornerback for Las Vegas, bro. He did that shit. But yeah, Henry, I like I said, bro. It, the nigga gotta learn, you know what I'm saying? But don't crucify the nigga. You can't crucify Henry Ruggs because Henry, bro. 
he young, bro. He's 21, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, I can't just say he's right for doing what he's doing, bro, because that's fucked up what you did, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because you called, you, you know what I'm saying? Somebody lost their life. But, nigga, you got to be smarter than that, fam. Call an Uber, dog. Y'all know y'all niggas want to drive your little fancy-ass cars and shit, bro, nigga. Sometimes you just got to be an Uber, dog. Or have a designated driver, nigga. You got that much money, nigga. Have a nigga that you know it ain't going to drink, nigga, and drive your ass home, nigga. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Like, what the fuck? Like, I... You know what I'm saying? I can't say because I don't know if I'm in that position if I'll do that shit too. But, you know, hey, I'm just saying, bro, like, let's be smarter than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because now you done lost out. Nigga, you, you know what I'm saying? But don't crucify the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Let him go learn his lesson, bro. When he, when he, after he learned his lesson, let him come back to the league. You know what I'm saying? But John Gruden, like, how I feel about John Gruden, dog? <laughs> I feel like, bro, they need to look more into that. Being 100. They need to look more into that instead of just being like, hey, we're going to get John Gruden. Fuck no, nigga, because he was talking to another owner about this shit. So what the fuck the owner say? That's why I say a lot of people they ain't, you know, we we brush the shit off, nigga. That's why I hate that shit. We brush that shit, type of shit off. But nigga, what what the what the owner would say? You know what I'm saying? If he's saying racist and, and homophobic shit, what the fuck is the owner saying? Y'all ain't y'all didn't disclose that shit because now that's going to cause a lot of other shit. They just they went with John Gruden. Because that nigga can be the scapegoat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, come on, bro. He's the scapegoat, nigga. Niggas don't be understanding that shit, bro. That nigga's the scapegoat. They, you, okay, we gonna, hey, bro, we gonna use you, and you gonna, you know, do whatever. So we don't, you know. But we need to, hey, somebody. We need to make a position, a petition. Goddamn, I can't talk. Petition, to, man. Hey, bro, we need to see what the fuck else the other owners and shit was saying to this nigga, bro. We only got that nigga part. I need, I need to know what the fuck everybody else was saying, not just this nigga. Y'all, y'all kind of crucified this nigga. No, we need to know what that because you know that's gonna that's gonna start up a whole bunch of shit. Because now you know what? How do y'all really look at us too? Because if you did watch the Kyle Kaepernick, you know, show on Netflix, that's really how it is, nigga. If you think about it, it never changed, bro. We slaves to them niggas, bro. It's it's to the highest better, nigga. And if you don't do good, nigga, I'm gonna get rid of you, nigga. Plain and simple. Niggas don't be understanding that shit, beast. That's why, you know, hey, my short, you know, time got short cut short playing football, but hey, nigga, it, it's all day of time. That's why I say with me, I'm glad I'm kind of glad my son don't play football. He basketball player, but you know, but it's just like uh, I gotta teach them that, you know what I'm saying? Because they, that's all they want you for. They just want you for what you what you got, nigga. If you don't produce for me, I'm gonna let go. You gotta look at that. But you know, that's why we gotta start teaching our kids, man. You gotta start really being there for them and, and kind of, you know, being on their backbone, bro. That's why, you know, hey, but we need to start a petition for John Gruden, try to see what the fuck going on because that shit died down, bro. But I I I, I wanna look more. I wanna know more. I wanna know what these other niggas are saying. I don't want to know what just John Gruden say. I want to know what that other owner at the Washington football team said. Because, you know, hey, if he's saying that shit, then the other nigga probably saying the shit too. That's why I'd be like, hey, man, it's it's it's, it's a thin line, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't be understanding that shit. This shit's a thin line. You know what I'm saying? You know, we all, you know, we got our own lives and shit. That's why, you know, you know I'm going to get off of this sports. Just, we got it, man, look. We got to start holding people accountable for shit that they doing, nigga, because they going to do the shit to us. They going to crucify us if we get caught in the shit. You know what I'm saying? People, homies, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You feel like your homeboy ain't out there doing what he's supposed to be doing, nigga, let that nigga know. Like, we too, we too grown. Yeah, and it's crazy. I Oh yeah, for sure, man. Once you, hey, bro, you you'll be a good father too, PJ. I see that shit coming, fam. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you know you do find the right woman, I know that's what it be. But yeah, it, that's what I'm trying to do. Just guide my son on the right path. Like, really, I'm not really hard on what he want to play. I'm not really forcing that nigga to play sports if he want to, nigga. Hey, man, you want to do something different, nigga? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to enter. You know, hey, I, I've been thinking about doing some shit with my kids. You know what I'm saying? Just enter with in my job and what I do, or you know, doing their own little things. You know what I'm saying? Like. Let's see what my kid, if he wants to be something different than what I'm, what most people try to project him as, you know what I'm saying? As being a black man, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, let's see, yo, yo, sky's the limit, nigga. Go get that shit. You can go get whatever you want, a lawyer, you know what I'm saying? Be a judge, you know what I'm saying? You, you work in the metal field. You can do whatever you want to. Yo, I'm going to support you regardless. I'm not going to be one of them fathers like, damn, because you got to think about how we grew up, nigga. All we knew was sports or the streets, nigga. That's basically the only way we knew that's going to make, that's the only way we knew that 
either we gonna make it, nigga. We didn't really grow up knowing that shit. There's other shit that we could have been doing. Now, nigga, in the pandemic, everybody know they can start their own business. If we knew that back then, bro, shit, a lot of us would have businesses way back then. But it's just like, it, you know, when we grew up, nigga, that shit was. It was just basically you either got the streets, you either got playing football, dog. You're going to take one of them motherfuckers, they're going to lead you where you're going. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> my city alone, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say my city, but, you know, the city I reside at, we have a lot of motherfucking star players that should have been somewhere, but, you know, either the streets kept them niggas on or they just kept their own so people couldn't get out their own funk, nigga. We got a lot of stars coming out that bitch that should have made it. But now you got these younger. That's why I said you got these younger. You got to help them. Help them get to the next level, bro. You know what I'm saying? Showing that they got support and knowing that, hey, man, when you out there, bro, you really supporting your city, dog. Like your city looking at you. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got to understand that shit. When they go out there in, in the world, they just feel like, oh, it's just whatever. It's on me. Nah, nigga. You, you got a lot of people that, you know what I'm saying, that's looking up. So when you do something bad, it's going to look bad on them, nigga. You got to understand that shit. That's why I say just be smart. Just Start being smart, nigga. Especially at that, you got a lot of money, nigga. You got to think smart, nigga, because shit, you can't leave with that motherfucker. You got all this money in the world, and you doing stupid ass shit and get yourself end up getting yourself killed. That's on you. But you got to think a lot smarter. Like even as people, we got to start using common sense, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's more than just you know all this extra shit. That's why I just say, man, like even with sports, bro, like. Them, them boys go through a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand, like, I just say for most people, because you got to understand, like, Jalen Smith. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we got taught a lot different, dog. We didn't get taught, like, all right, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you know you can go be a doctor or something, or you can go be a lawyer. You ain't got to do this, or you can't, you know what I'm saying? Hey, go get you a business. We didn't get taught like that. We got taught this is basically you're going to play sports, or you're going to be in the streets, or you ain't going to do shit. That's real shit, though, but that's what... You gotta understand, that's the same thing. I don't want my kid going to that because, nigga, hey, he ain't got to be like me. I, I, I'm I, trying to put my kid on some other shit. Like, people try to say, like, I heard this shit. Like, people try to say, oh, you know, uh, I'm trying to give the kid the best life that I had, that I never had. But that's just like, you just trying to give your kid the shit that you didn't have, nigga. I'm not trying to be like that. I, I want to teach my kid on the way, on the long and the ways of different little shit because, you know, I know a lot of motherfuckers don't know how to cook clean and do the necessities of life, nigga. Fuck everything else, nigga. I want my kid to know how to fucking do shit, bro. Like, it, it's nothing that you will need somebody else to do for you because most people, when they get in a relationship, they, it's something that, you know, most people get in these relationships and they be on some shit like, um, they, it, it's something, I'm with this person because they do, they, they do something that I can't do. You know what I'm saying? You know, most women now, they don't know how to cook. Like, I remember back in the day, you know, how we was growing up. Most women, they was up under their big mamas. You won't even got big mamas no more, nigga, like that, bro. Like, yeah, have you ever thought about that, nigga? We ain't even got big mamas like that, fam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Teaching these kids, like, woo to woo. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I say, bro, like, we got to we gotta start teaching our kids just the necessity of life, nigga. Not no, oh, this, this, and that, bro. We got to teach them, nigga, how to clean, cook. All that shit. Because what if they on their own, they get older, they don't know none of that shit, bro. Now they buying fast food, so they breaking themselves even more because the fast food highs here. They don't know how to cook. So, nigga, if it does happen and, and fast food go away, how you gonna know how to live in life, nigga? Noodles, cooking noodles ain't shit, nigga. I'm talking about some real, like a nigga can cook some meal, even a grilled cheese. People don't even know how to cook a grilled cheese, my nigga, and that's one of the easiest things to cook, nigga. Just being hunted, nigga. Like, it's... It, it just now is getting to a point now where people lacking common sense, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we don't even pay attention to our kids, man. Most of these motherfuckers going out partying all the damn time, letting YouTube raise their kid. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Like, we got my kid off of that, but it's just like, it's shit that I talk about that I got to fix for myself, but I know what I'm doing. Because I'm actually there. I don't go out clubbing all the damn time, bro. Fuck all that, bro. Because really and truly in the club, that's demon time, dog. And them demon time hours, nigga. So, you know, people always try to blame. Oh, why? Why this happened to me? Why this? Bro, because you out, you out in the world. You know what I'm saying? After 12, anything after 12. You know, Coach Flo used to say that shit all the time. Anything after 12, shit, nigga, ain't no good, nigga. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say people got to people gotta change that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I say, bro, people get into shit and they be like, shit, why am I into this, bro? You got you to gotta start thinking for yourself, dog. You know what I'm saying? Stop letting other people think for you, nigga. That's what a lot of motherfuckers do. They let motherfuckers think for yourself, think for them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go out wasting all type of money on these clubs. Like, don't get me wrong, bro. That's on y'all. Y'all got the money. But, nigga, think about it. Nigga, you gonna buy a bottle cheaper in the, in the, in the store, nigga, than you buying at the club. Just being 100. And then, nigga, the first thing a motherfucker want to say is, oh, bro, I don't really, I don't want nobody at my house. We don't fuck with that many people. You don't fuck with that many people, but you're around them a lot, whole bunch of people. That don't make sense. I know I'll be babbling, bro. This, you know, I do to keep it solid, too. You know, I'm dropping. We coming back Saturday, bro, and I'm going to do my real talk. You know what I'm saying? Keep it solid, nigga, because I ain't done it in a while. I got a lot of shit on my mind I got to talk about, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, they will learn eventually. But I just don't want them to learn when it's too late, dog. Cause that's who they targeting. They targeting our babies, nigga. I, and that's something I stand on with keep it solid. This whole thing behind keep it solid about the kids, bro. Like, nigga, we gotta we gotta be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they they the school teaches them work. You know, all this extra ass work, but we gotta teach them the real shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? You got babies raising. You got babies raising babies, nigga. Cause most time their mom and daddy is always gone and they're never at home, so they got the older kid raising babies. We got the babies raising babies, nigga. You know, people don't like to jump on here when I get to talking like shit like that, cause they be like, "Man, that nigga ain't about tripping, bro." Yeah, bro, but I mean, it is real life, bro. I mean, niggas, we got to stop living in this this reality world. Look what happened. You got babies. You had babies killed over the weekend, dog. The youngest was fourteen years old, dog. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> That's why I just like, bro. And everybody can say it's not his fault or not. But, you know, hey, I really don't want to get too much in that. Y'all might hear, I'm going to hear my piece later. But, you know, we got we to gotta do better, man. We got to do better as a people. You know what I'm saying? Just we got to actually give time, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Instead of doing some bullshit. Hey, PJ, I'm about to say, bro, I, I, I see you doing that music shit, bro. Keep it up, fam. I always told you, man, I remember you rapping in high school, nigga. <laughs> I thought you was like, yeah, man, keep keep that shit up, fam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep that motherfucking shit up. I see you doing your thing, bro. Fuck what everybody's saying about what you're doing, bro. Do what you do what you feel, nigga. You know how to make your shit rock, nigga. Nah, I appreciate you, bro. Nah, we'll talk about I'll talk about that this weekend. I'm gonna tag you, bro. I'm gonna tag you for sure. We're gonna talk about that, Travis Scott and everything, my real talk this weekend. But yeah, man. Stay up, fam. <clears throat> I gotta I work at night, so you know what I'm saying. Hey, oh, 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 that's what I say too. Hey man, uh music shit before you get out. Hey, the music shit. If you wanna, you know, get on here and talk about the music shit, I do that shit with my partners too, bro. I try to put y'all on too. Share that. Hey, bro. Come on here, talk about your music. Let's listen to it. Hey, I'm all with it. You know what I'm saying? I try to put my niggas that I know on, nigga. I, I fuck with niggas that's real. But all right, fam. I'm just in here. I'm gonna get off this hoe in a minute anyway. I'm just talking my little shit. But man, I'm telling you. <laughs> But like I said, man, we all got to do better as people. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? We 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 do. But uh, we going to see. But, yeah, everybody, tune in, man. Fuck with me, dog. This show, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I, I'm not stopping. We're going to be on these niggas' heads hard. Real shit. <laughs>